<laughs> okay, everybody, pack your bags. I hope you're ready. Where are we going, Papa Teching? Are you gonna take us on a vacation? Damn straight, we're going on a vacation to the sky! Episode of Sky Island confirmed! Yes! <laughs> no, no, no. You don't understand. You don't understand, okay? I have been waiting for this forever, okay? Because it really does seem like every major arc of One Piece uh, has been, like, redone in the newer animation style uh, via the episode of little OVAs that they make, like, every year. You know, we had the episode of The Mary, which covers uh, Annie's Lobby. We had the episode of Luffy, which, well, that didn't really cover much of anything, but you know what I mean. Like, it was, like, an updated version. I think it, actually, I think the episode of Luffy covered a lot of stuff at the beginning of the manga that wasn't covered before, like, the how Luffy got the scar under his eye, like, that. I think that the first time it was animated when it was an episode of Luffy. Um, episode of Nami obviously does all of the uh, Arlong Park stuff. Episode of the East Blue Blue covered all of the Easter Blue stuff, and and the cool thing about these episode uh, OVAs that I love is it really for a few things. It, it number one, it kind of helps people get into One Piece because, and I think that's part of the reason why they made them. It's because One Piece is 20 years old now. Um, there were kids that watched One Piece back in the late 90s that at some point had children that are now old enough to watch One Piece and they have to like explain everything to them. So I can understand, it's, it's kind of hard to get caught up. And when I did my video uh, back uh, on uh, Christmas Eve, I actually filmed it, uh, my video on how to get into One Piece, of course I say, you know, you gotta start at chapter one, there's really no shortcuts. Um, but w one thing that you could do in order just to kind of get your foot in the water, just to see if you would like One Piece, like the kind of humor and the kind of how like Oda structures arcs and everything and the characters is watch the episode OVAs like watch episode of East Blue I, I, I said don't just take episode of East Blue as just face value because they have to leave a lot of stuff out because they're covering like you know four or five major story arcs in like the span of like an hour and a half so you can't just take everything from that but just to get a general idea but the thing with Skypea is that it just, it felt like abandoned, okay? Uh, even with Alabasta, Alabasta never had an episode of OVA, but it had an entire movie based around it. Movie 8, The Princess of the Desert Kingdom. The first One Piece movie that was actually dubbed in English uh, by the Funimation cast. And that was one of the first actual pieces of One Piece media beyond the four kids dub that I ever actually watched, right? So you have episode of East Blue for the beginning of the story, an episode of Nami for Arlong Park, then you have the the uh, movie 8 uh, for Alabasta and everything like that, uh, but then you get to Skypea and it just gets, you know, you know skipped over and everything. Um, so, and, and this is, honestly, this and Thriller Bark would be really good arcs to make, like, an episode OVA or a movie based around, because, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happens. Skypea, I believe, was actually the longest singular arc before you got to, uh, um, uh, dress Rosa. But the thing is, when you did, like, the movie with Alabasta, you see, there was a lot of stuff that led up to Alabasta. You had Whiskey Peak, you had Little Garden, you had Drum Island, which Drum Island wasn't too much into Alabasta, but there was, like, very integral development for Vivi's character there on Drum Island that would lead later on into Alabasta, and then finally Alabasta proper. So obviously they couldn't include all of that in the movie, they just skipped right to Alabasta. Um, Skypea and, and Thriller Bark especially, Thriller Bark is pretty much entirely isolated. There's really no arcs leading up to Thriller Bark in a big way. Um, the Skypea had Jaya, and they're probably, just by looking at the poster alone, um, they're probably going to leave the Jaya stuff out of it. I wouldn't be surprised if the OVA started with the Straw Hats just getting knocked up on the knock-up stream. Like, we're going to the sky, bitches! You know, and they just land, and then they run into Gonfall, and they run into Wiper, and then they have the whole thing with gaining access to the White White Sea, and the meeting Konus, and Pagaya, and all those people. And that takes, like, if this is going to be, like, the standard length of an episode 
of, we're talking like an hour and a half, uh, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. So, you know, maybe give us like 15 minutes to kind of get acclimated to like, oh, this is the sky. And then you got to get right into it with, um, with uh, Eneru and Upper Yard and the Shandorians and all that stuff. But I think it could definitely work in this format. I think you can include all of the important parts here, as well as uh, even the flashback you see there with Noland and uh, um, uh, Kalgara. Yeah, you could even include that. I think it's definitely possible there. Um, also, you know, Nami's running around the entire arc in nothing but a bikini. Well, well, she's wearing pants, too, but you know what I mean. Wait, Nami always runs around with a bikini. Anyway, this was like, this was like post-time skip Nami with pre-time skip Nami. And they're probably gonna, yeah, you know what they do. You, 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 you see the other episodes of, like, in, in Arlong Park, they made a point to make Nami's boobs a little bit bigger like they were, and instead back when the Arlong... Okay, yeah, you know where this is going. Um... Okay, so uh, some other stuff I read. This is going to air on August 25th, by the way. August 25th, 2018 is when this episode is going to be dropped. And uh, it's also been revealed there's going to be a new character introduced in the Skypea episode that we don't, uh, that hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, that wasn't actually in the canon of the story. Now, I, I don't know more about that. Um, this could go a few ways. This could be like a character they're just designing for the anime. Um, maybe it's a character that's designed to make everything flow better, because here's the problem. The only real major problem I can see, if they're omitting the stuff from Jaya, that's gonna be a problem because of Cricket. Cricket and the Sariyama Alliance. That led to kind of like the bookends of Skypea, where the Straw Hats run into Cricket, and he tells them all about the, the City of Gold, and, uh, you know, the legend of Nolan to begin with, and uh, the Sariyama Alliance and everything. Like, they're looking for this City of Gold. And then they help the Straw Hats, you know, you know get the uh, modifications on the Mary, get on the knock-up stream, go up into the sky, and at the very end of Skypea, that's when they discover, oh, crap, the City of Gold was actually in the sky sky this whole time and they ring the golden bell and you see Luffy's shadow in the sky and Cricket's on the ground and he starts crying and he's like man kid good job and and the weird thing uh, the weird thing about that is that you think that Cricket after searching for you know decades and decades trying to find the city of gold on the ocean floor you know, I mean, that that must have been a blow to him right there, like, oh my god, I was looking in the exact opposite place this entire time! But no, he decides to, like, alright, let's go on a new adventure. I thought Cricket would be like, oh, okay, well, let's go into the sky then and find it properly, but instead he just kind of like, oh, okay, it was in the sky this whole time. Alright, well, let's just move on to the next adventure, but okay. Maybe the new character they're introducing for this episode of Sky Island um, is just to kind of make the whole Nolan thing make more sense in the context of the OVA. You know, so the Straw Hats don't have to meet Cricket and the Sariyama Alliance, but they'll still find out about Nolan. Or another way you could do that is you could just have Sanji explain it. Um, maybe you could have this new character bring up Noland, and even without actually having the book, you could just have Sanji pop in and be like, oh yeah, Nolan the liar, let me tell you all about it. And then you could have this little, maybe like, uh, Sanji has the narration over the story, and he explains what the whole thing is to the, to the other Straw Hats. Um, I don't know if the other character that's gonna be, it could be a Shandorian, could be a Skypean, could be a Brickin, like Eneru, I don't know. Um, the battle with the priests, I'm sure they're all gonna be included, they're just going to be heavily glossed over, uh, so we're probably just going to get cut down to the scenes where, you know, Sanji pounds Satori in the freaking ground, where Chopper knocks Geratsu off the side into the blue sea. Um, I can't remember what happened with Shura. Oh, Gonfall fought Shura, right? No, it was Gonfall that fought Shura, but Wiper, yeah, Wiper was the one that took him out, yeah, with the reject dial. Um, and then uh, Ohm, Ohm's thing was Zoro. I'm really pumped for Eneru. Because Eneru's Goro Goro no Mi, like, in the anime, keep in mind, the anime of Skypea, which was the only, like I said, the only piece of animation that we have, there might have been a few updated scenes in the anime, like when they remembered Eneru or something. They might have thrown in some new scenes of animation with Eneru, but not, not, nothing really substantial. Um, ever since back in, like, the early 2000s, mid-2000s, when we had the Skypea arc aired in the original anime, that's, like, the only animation we have. And it wasn't bad, 
Um, there's a lot of scenes, especially when Eneru's going into his, like, Raijin form. It looks pretty cool, but imagine how much cooler this is going to look with the updated animation. They could re they could do some bomb stuff with Eneru's Goro Goro no Mi and with all the dials and the milky arrows and everything floating through the sky, the Maxim, that giant arc, they could have so many, so many things that could be added to this with better animation. Eneru's shocked face. Remember that? When he finds out Luffy isn't affected by his powers, and he's just like, what? You know, that's gonna be cool to see. They have to throw that in there. Um, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't think there should be, obviously there's gonna have to be cut downs from things, like, we're probably not gonna get as much from the battles. Um, I would honestly take a little bit more, cause I liked Konus and Paguya, I like their characters, and everybody just, once again, they were just forgotten in the annals of One Piece history. Uh, but I would take that, I would take a little bit, like, keep the development between Konus and how, you know, she's a believer in Eneru and, and God and, you know, her, you know, his majesty, but then after she finds out what he's like, you know, he, she tries to tell the other people, like, you know, you have to, you know, he's a bad guy, and then, you know, the people turn on her, and she has to try to, like, you know, you know, I, I would love it if they left that stuff in, um, uh, you know, even if they had to, you know, cut down on the fights a little bit there, um, the backstory between, uh, Noland and Kalgara, that was really cool, there were some really cool scenes there with the giant snakes and that ancient society, like that Aztec kind of society, I would love to see that with updated animation there, um, let's see, who else, you have, uh, Oh, who is the little um uh Isa? Yeah, the uh the girl with the observation hockey. That, I don't know if that, I don't know if they're going to do something with that too. Because now that we know what hockey is and back during Skypea, that was the first introduction we had to uh, uh observation hockey. It was called mantra uh, back then, but now that we know what observation is, maybe there might be some more hints to it. They might yeah, expand upon it a little bit more. They might use the mantra in a way that we've seen observation hockey used now that we actually know 100% what it is, you know, um, some, some stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to go through all the... Because it's even been a while since I've watched the Skypea arc. Uh, I remember watching it in the 4Kids dub. And then that actually kind of... No, no, no. It wasn't... Okay. It wasn't the 4Kids dub. It was the 4Kids dub right at the end of the Rainbow Mist. They, they decided to dub the Rainbow Mist arc for some reason. And then... Right there, vi uh, four kids stopped and Funimation picked up, but there was no break in between. So it was like one week was the four kids dub, and then the very next week when they got to the Jaya arc, all of a sudden all the voices changed and now it's the Funimation cast. But then they only made it halfway through Skypea, and then I think I watched the rest of it there. And I think later on when they came out on DVD, I, 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 I didn't buy the DVDs, but I ended up watching it, you know, again. But even so, that was at least 2010, 2011. It was a while back from when I, the last time I saw the Skypea arc in its entirety. Um, but a lot of really cool scenes. The final battle between Luffy and Eneru just kind of has me really excited there. Robin old school cowboy hat Robin. She's going to be making an appearance there. Uh, you could have a lot of fun, with, like I said, with all the different dials, the reject dial, the impact dial, flame dials, uh, Ohm's sword, um, which kind of always looked like just clay, you know, just like a malleable clay thing that he can make into a whip, but you can make that thing look really freaking sweet with the updated animation. It, it would look really sweet, just in general. Um... Yeah, and then you could just cap off the arc with defeating Eneru, and then, you know, the Thousand... Uh, not the Thousand Sunny, it'd be the Going Mary. Yeah, the Mary is still in this one. And the battle damage on the Mary, they can make that really apparent, so it can lead into Episode of Mary. So, so far from what we have, if you want to watch the One Piece anime, if you want to get caught up as quickly as possible, it with a very abridged, kind of just, here's the general feel of an arc, um, here's what you gotta do. You gotta first, okay, watch episode of East Blue, but right when you get to the Arlong Park arc, you gotta stop episode of East Blue, and then go watch episode of Nami, because because episode of Nami already aired before episode of East Blue, they don't really cover the Arlong Park arc that much in episode of East Blue, it's kind of glossed over, so watch episode of East Blue, all the way up to the Arlong Park, stop it, then watch episode of Nami, and then... 
Um, there's really nothing to help you. There needs to be a Log Town. Uh, there, yeah, there needs to be a Log Town episode. Episode of Log Town. Hey, hey, they could drag that out. Not even drag it out. There's plenty of stuff that goes on in Log Town that Oda had to omit. Like the Daddy Masterson thing. Um, you could have totally included that. There's the whole scene with Buggy. There's the whole scene with Dragon and Smoker's introduction. You could have an episode of Log Town. So then you gotta have to jump to the anime, watch Log Town, then Laboon, then Whiskey Peak, then Little Garden, then watch the movie episode, uh, I'm not episode, it would be the movie 8, Desert Kingdom, and then you can watch this, the Sky episode of Sky Island, uh, and then, oh god, Long Ring, Long Land, oh man, okay, um, so I'm not a fan of Davy Backfight, it's the only arc of One Piece I've never read in its entirety, I've never watched in its entirety, there are parts of it I still don't know, um, I'm not a fan, but I guess you could, I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, all right. I'm not dissing on anybody's preference. I just want to know if Long Ring Long Land, if the Davy Back fight is your personal One Piece arc. I'm not shaming you. I just want you to tell me why. What is its appeal? And before you just type Afro Luffy, no! <laughs> Because I know some of you are going to do that. Like, the reason why I like Davy Backfight is my favorite. Afro Luffy! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Um, now that you're actually going to do that, which, okay, fine. As long as you're having fun. You're having fun down there listening to me as you type Afro Luffy. And I, somebody right now is just freaking just holding their hands on, like, sh shift one. And just exclamation point, exclamation point. Are you having fun? That's all that matters. Okay, you click comment. All right, awesome. But if, if it is your favorite, let me know. But then after that, you can watch episode of Mary. And then there's Thriller Bark. And there needs to be an episode of Marine Ford. Um, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna pick between, like, Thriller Bark or Saba Ondi or Impel Down, Impel Down is my favorite arc, but if you're gonna pick between that and then Marine Ford, you gotta have just a straight-up episode of Marine Ford. That was one of the ones that could probably make the best, because it'd be an hour and a half long of just a straight-up war, and you could actually get the feeling, like, because, you know... The, the pacing is a little bit different when you're reading it or when you're watching the anime on episode by episode basis. But if the War of Marine Ford was a good, solid, just hour and a half, two longer, two hour long OVA movie, that'd be great. You, that would work perfectly for that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of getting off the rails now. I'm talking about other stuff. But um, yeah, episode of Sky Island, Eneru's going to be badass. You're going to have a new character August 25th, 2018. That's when it's going to air. Get ready. Be there. Be square. All that cringy nonsense. Uh, you guys have a good night. Signing out. Crackle, crackle, lightning, lightning.